Now I want to point out something to you right here. Um, when you come into a meeting and you see this icon right here, this camera icon, that means there is a meeting already in place. Okay, so what we would do as a user, we would not come in and try to start a meeting. Do not do that. We found out that was what was happening last time, last month. So what we want to do is we want to come into the chat and we want to look for the meeting that's titled for the day of the event. When we're ready, we can click join. Now what's nice about this is we're in here. Also what's nice is any kind of chat that we have, it gets added to the conversation. So we can see it in the video call or we can see it in the chat itself. Additionally, when we do a recording, that video recording will be uh, placed right in this chat group. And then you can scroll ahead and find previous recordings and the chats from that meeting. And while we're in a call, let me navigate, provide some navigation here. You can see that we're in the chat. If you want to raise your hand, you can raise your hand. Your hand goes up. Others can see that. You can put your hand down. You can see the participant list. And again, I'll do that hand up so you can see it and hand down. You have additional features in the ellipses. Feel free to explore those. You can turn on your video. And because my camera is being used for another program, it won't work. Or you can turn on your microphone. Also know that you should mute your microphone prior to coming in and joining that meeting. This will be really important uh, to avoid unnecessary conversations or um, statements that should not be heard by larger groups of folks. If you are, pre are a presenter and you're sharing your screen, you can click share content. And notice at the bottom here, let me close that, you have options. Now I have two screens and then I have multiple programs open on screen one. Okay. I recommend that you share your entire screen to avoid confusion. And if other things are added to the conversation, um, it, it eliminates the need to stop screen sharing and reshare your screen again. Now, most important, most important, when you are done with a call, you need to click leave, the red leave button. You need to hang up from the call. And please do that before you start talking again. Uh, to avoid any kind of conversations that are happening. All right, so I'm going to leave this call. And now once that call is done, there's a history of that call, if it was recorded, or a history of the chat right here in the We section of our channel. Hopefully this is helpful to you. Thanks.